Hi, I Aziz welcome you to Codemaster and in this video I am going to talk about Brian Cunningham's algorithm. So let's get started. So let's say you were asked to count number of set bits in a number. So how would you count this number of set bits in a number? We assume that there are 32 bits in a number. So obviously your answer will be brute force approach. So how would you do? So let's say for example if n is equal to 10. So this is the binary representation of number 10 in 32 bit form. So here are the 8 bits that are all unset. Here are also 8 bits that are unset. Here are also 8 bits that are unset. And here are 8 bits where only 2 bits are set. Right? Now how would you calculate number of set bits in this binary representation? So it's simple, right? If you follow brute force approach, you have to traverse each bit from least significant bit to most significant bit and count set bits. As simple as that. You have to traverse from here till here and you simply count number of bits. But imagine a number whose only most significant bit is set. So let's say this is a number and in this number only uh, most significant bit is set. So in this case also you have to traverse from less significant bit to most significant bit, right? In both the cases you are traversing all the bits to calculate number of set bits, okay? So in best case or average case also you are traversing all the bits and in worst case also you are traversing all the bits. So how many iterations you are making actually? So if let's say there are 32 bits in an integer then you are making 32 iteration. So simply count the number of set bits, right? Even only one bit is set then also you are iterating 32 times. So what will be the time complexity of this solution? Obviously it depends upon the number of bits. So that's why the time complexity of this solution is going to be big of number of bits, right? But this is not the clever way to solve this problem. Why? Because when n becomes larger, your iteration increases significantly. So right now I'm talking about 32 bits integers. If let's say if you have 64 bits integers, then you have to traverse 64 times to calculate number of set bits, right? So when your n becomes larger, your iteration increases and it simply impact the performance of the algorithm, right? So how to solve this problem in an efficient way? So this is where Brian Cunningham's algorithm comes into picture. So who is Brian Cunningham's? He is a Canadian computer scientist. His full name is actually Brian Wilson Cunningham's. Okay. He worked at Bell Labs and he also contributed to the development of Unix operating system. So this is just a little bit background of Mr. Brian. Okay. So to improve the performance of this algorithm, Brian Cunningham's has developed a clever algorithm to solve this problem. And that is based on some observations. So let's see what was the observations he made. So the observations are, if you look at these numbers closely, if you look at the 10, if you look at 10, you see the rightmost bit is set. So you see that the second bit is the rightmost bit and it is set bit. And if you reduce number by one, it means if you see nine, then you will see that the now the rightmost set bit of 10 becomes zero and all the remaining bits to, towards the right of it gets inverted. See, the here one was the rightmost bit. When you reduce number by one, these bits converted to zero and all the remaining bits towards the right of it gets inverted to one. Means zero becomes one and one becomes zero. Now see this example, eight and seven. It will be very clear to you when you see this example, eight and seven. So the rightmost set bit of 8 is this, okay? And if I reduce number by 1, means 7, you see that this bit gets unset and all the remaining bits towards the right of this set bit gets inverted. Means 0 becomes 1, one 0 becomes 1 and here also 0 becomes 1. So this is the first observation, okay? So if we do n minus 1, rightmost set bits become unset and remaining bits to its rights are inverted. We saw this. And the second observation is, if we do bitwise and of n with n minus 1, the rightmost bit gets unset. So let's see with an example. So let's say in case of 10, this is the binary representation of 10. And in 10, and in 10 you see that only two bits are set. And that is also on the right side. Okay. So if we reduce this number by 1, so now our 10 becomes 9. And if we do bitwise and with 9, so you see that the rightmost bit of 10 that is this becomes zero. It means the rightmost bit, uh, set bit of 10 is gone now. Okay. And we only left with only 
one set bit and if we and this number is equal to eight now if we reduce this number by one so we get seven and if we do bitwise end with seven and the binary representation of seven is this so if we do end with seven again the rightmost set bits is gone right so in just two iterations our number becomes zero so this is the second observation if you do bitwise end of n with n minus 1 your rightmost bit gets unset so now if i talk about the time complexity of this approach of solving this problem then in worst case the time complexity remains the same why because let's imagine that you have all the bits set to 1 right so there is a number whose all bits are set so in that case obviously this brian cunningham's algorithm also takes big of number of bits time because it has to unset all the bit one by one but if you consider best and average case it means the number of set bits is less than number of unset bits then this algorithm works perfectly fine and it is way more faster than the uh, previous brute force approach right because it takes only big of log of n time this time where n is the number whose set bits need to be calculated in case you don't know the number of set bits uh, is always equal to log base 2 of n so let's say you have a number 10 then n you have to count number of set bits in 10 then you can simply do log base 2 of 10 you get the number of set bits so in best and worst case so in best and worst case this algorithm performs really well and it is much much faster than brute force approach but in worst case it takes big of number of bits okay so let's have a quick recap of the things we have learned so far. So we are given a problem and the task of that problem is to find the number of set bits. So we saw the brute force approach to solve that problem. Uh, and the time complexity of this approach is big of number of bits. Then we saw how Brian Cunningham's algorithm solved this problem very cleverly. Right? And we saw that in worst case the time complexity is same as number of bits. Uh, but in average in worst case our time complexity becomes big of log of n. And this is much much better than this time complexity and we saw that how efficiently Brian Cunningham's algorithm works to count number of set bits in a number okay so I hope now you have a good understanding about how Brian Cunningham's algorithm works how it efficiently counts number of set bits in a number so this is it for this video thanks for watching see you in the next video